hello guys in this video we will be discussing an isotropic filtering and how this is achieved in unity now what problem an isotropic filtering um, help us with is uh, an isotropic uh, as the name suggests so uh, the whole appearance of this um, road which you can look at the screen is not same is not iso that means same and why this is happening is so uh, whenever we render a geometry that has a repeated texture now what our hardware does is it break down that texture um, uh, it, it, it makes a, a multiple samples of the textures at different resolutions now certain part of the geometry that cover lesser screen area or at a, uh, a certain slanting angle with respect to screen the lower resolution textures are fed so uh, yes so that is what's going on around here this blurriness now this, these are lower resolution texture as you can see the distance um, uh, as we can see further more blurriness is appearing now how this is handled in unity um, as uh, how this will be taken care of uh, is through simple setting now going into technicalities how this is done we uh, we force the hardware to take into account multiple samples even of the higher resolutions so that leads to better image viewing so simply this can be done in this uh, project setting and uh, under this quality setting you can go add it project setting and quality and uh, you can uh, force it the anisotropic textures to be forced on and you can see the problem is gone it's that simple as good as it should be and it's an isotropic rather than an isotropic so and that, that's one way of doing it now this will uh, force the uh, anisotropic uh, filtering to be applied on all the textures and that is not what we want so we would rather go by per texture and we would uh, like that setting uh, on uh, different textures dependent uh, I mean um, on what angle they are supposed to be viewed by the camera now for instance this ground we can we, sh we can notch up the anisotropic level here and it should solve the problem okay we need to apply it but that's it done so this is how we use an isotropic filtering and we ask uh, we force the hardware to take into account multiple samples so that uh, textures that are applied on geometry at certain slanting angle appear smoother so that is it guys if uh, if you found something wrong um, please correct me and uh, please feel free to uh, discuss this further thank you thank you very much